Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do a fashion video because I'm finding it so difficult to figure out what to wear at the moment. We've definitely hit that transitional time of year here in Auckland. Every five minutes the weather changes. It's either hot for like 20 minutes uh, and then it rains and then because of the rain it cools down and then the next day it'll be super humid but it'll still be raining and then in the mornings it's freezing cold but then as the temperature rises throughout the day it then becomes extremely warm again so i've been like what do i wear i don't know need to really think about these transitional outfits outfits that you can wear out and about and kind of rely on the fact that you're not going to get too hot or too cold at any given time um i do feel like it is kind of a fun time of year to dress because you're kind of getting the most out of your favorite pieces from summer but it's also time to start thinking about blazers and jeans and all of those pieces you have been missing from autumn and winter last year fyi i live in new zealand so we are now in autumn going into winter so yeah i have been quite excited about putting together some new outfits reintroducing knitwear uh into my wardrobe again and i've been starting to put away the really like skimpy singlets and things like that that i would wear at the peak of summer and then start bringing out some more jackets and pants and that kind of thing so yeah it's an exciting time but it can be so hard to know what to wear so i thought creating this video would be really helpful for you guys sometimes as well at this time of year you just feel really stuck and uninspired because you're like oh it's hot but it's not cold and I know a lot of us are like, oh, I just wish it was cold so we could just wear our full head to toe like winter outfits. Coats. I miss my coats so much. So yeah, hopefully this video gives you guys some inspiration. So this is a new top I got recently from Cos. I got it from the store in Newmarket here in Auckland. It is a knitted vest, so I don't know how much of the detail is coming up on camera I think you can kind of see it there so it's got holes in this bit and then around the boobs it's more of like a block of like solid knit um, and then there's like a row of holes here and then it's ribbed I don't know if you guys can see that there you go um, it's a beautiful piece like I am obsessed with wearing knitted vests and I think they are the number one staple transseasonal wardrobe piece for both um, summer going into autumn and then at the end of the year for winter going into spring they're perfect so I get a lot of wear out of these twice in the year this is my most recent one so it's navy it might look black on here but it's navy um it kind of comes down quite long i mean i'm very short which is annoying um so i just kind of flip it up and tuck it in and i don't mind that there's a little bit of bunching around here because i kind of just like that effortless not 100 percent perfect sort of look um i don't wear a bra with it i like that it kind of comes down here i love that i don't have to wear a bra because it is that kind of like solid knitted knit around the boob area um, but it does cover this part of your boob really well so you don't have to worry about your boobs falling out I've got really small boobs I don't have to worry about that which is great <laughs> but yeah it's just a great piece I am completely obsessed with it the quality is beautiful it's 100% cotton uh, I am very 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 picky with my materials I don't like wearing materials like polyester um sometimes there's an exception because you can't really get away if you have like a hundred percent wool pair of pants or a blazer and the lining sometimes can be polyester sometimes that's difficult to avoid or sometimes you might see a piece that you really love and you're like oh it's polyester but i'll look after it and make sure it's in my wardrobe for a good number of years then it's okay but i try and avoid it at all costs just panned you down ever so slightly to show you this belt. So this belt is from RM Williams and it's a chunky dark brown leather belt with brass hardware. Uh, it's beautiful. I might actually take you off to show you properly. Um, it's just a huge buckle belt, but I find sometimes when you're wearing kind of a very 
minimal top with denim a belt like this just really ties the outfit in together and yeah it's beautiful i don't know if the chocolate brown is really coming up on camera but i'm obsessed with it it's got the rm williams um logo here it's quite a statement it's not going to be for everybody but i love it 100 percent one of those belts that will literally be in my wardrobe until i'm 99 years old i'm going to take you over to the mirror to show you the full head to toe outfit these jeans I have mentioned a couple of times in some previous fashion videos but these jeans i have had forever i'm not even joking and by forever i mean 2017 i think yeah 2017 i bought them in la they're from brandy melville um they are just a typical like mom style jean uh straight leg i had to cut them at the bottom because they were <laughs> too long for me, which is the story of my life when it comes to jeans and pants in general. But yeah, there's not a lot to say. They are kind of my like comfy jeans. They are 100% cotton, so they're that sort of stiff denim, but they have stretched out a lot. The only thing I struggle with is like this camel toe area. This bothers me a lot. There's like a lot of extra fabric around this area, but I kind of like them for when I want to wear one of those really slouchy outfits um and just be comfortable but still feel really chic so yeah they're straight leg very comfortable and then down here i am wearing my sandals from the barley tailor they are amazing they are like a crossed leather really perfect chunky sandal and i bought these specifically for this time of year when things are a little bit more transitional so they've got like a little buckle on the side it's like brass hardware little like sling back style but it's all leather um crisscross at the front yes i know my toes are really gross they also need painting and i just love them i love how a chunky sandal can feel really transitional and make an outfit um i don't know feel a little bit more seasonless um just by being more chunky i feel like you can get away with wearing them in the autumn in the city you could even throw on a blazer and they wouldn't look weird whereas a thin strap sandal that would be more for the summer would look a little bit strange so yeah this is my first transitional outfit okay this next outfit is not going to be for everyone i'm obsessed i've been daydreaming about layering this koto dress ever since i got it back in spring with knitwear underneath so this is a koto knit and a koto dress the knit i don't think it definitely wouldn't be available anymore but hopefully they'll bring something similar out this year because i got this in autumn last year um the dress you might find on sale still but it's basically a midi style dress it comes to the calves but it's so cute it's like a little girl school dress in the coolest way ever the knit is amazing i love that it comes up to here i've talked about it quite a lot i love that the sleeves are really long it's perfect for layering and I think going into autumn, one of the things that you really need to have in your wardrobe is a piece of knitwear that adds layering value to your outfit. So I love this because if I wear a jacket or a coat, this kind of sticks out, especially if the jacket or the coat is really dark. And I love that. Um, the sleeves, because they're really long, they also peek out underneath a jacket or a blazer as well. So this knit gets so much wear throughout the autumn winter and obviously by itself it's amazing but I love it layered under stuff. So I've popped it underneath this koto dress. So I was wearing this koto dress back in spring when I got it. Um, I bought the knit but the dress was gifted. But yeah, it basically comes to like halfway down your torso and then it flows out and I just feel like it's also navy, which I don't know if that's coming out very well on camera, but it's so flowy. It has pockets. Coming to think of it, I do think I have spoken about this dress a couple of times. It has pockets. It makes me feel really girly, but still in a stylish masculine way, which I love. I love the layering. I love the contrast. I love the ribbing and then just the smooth cotton. This knit is 100% cotton, so also really good for this time of year it's not merino or wool or cashmere it's not gonna overheat me um and then this dress is cotton as well and it's really thick the quality is beautiful i literally will have this dress in my wardrobe forever i've just styled it with my veja 
uh, Nova trainers. They are black and cream. They are so comfortable. These, my V10 Vajas were a nightmare to wear in. These required no wearing in, which I love. Um, but they just give that really nice like, canvas trainer, very chic French girl style, um, which I love. And yeah, they add another nice amount of contrast, like black and cream and then navy and cream. So this is how this outfit looks. And I love it. So I'm going through a major obsession with this beautiful Australian brand called St. Agni. I don't think I've ever been this obsessed with one brand before. Like, it is the kind of brand where their styling and their branding is so beautiful. And they go on their website, every single thing that is there, I want in my wardrobe. <laughs> um... It's definitely a premium brand with premium premium prices, so they are investment pieces. Hang on, I just think you're a little bit wonky. But yeah, it's all um, natural fabrics. Everything is beautiful, and I have to really restrain myself. Uh, but this is my newest piece, and just like the vest, I feel like this is the perfect transitional top for this time of year. So it's a cotton knit, it's kind of like three quarter sleeves, which I feel like is really flattering and elongating <laughs> um, for the arms. I got it in the black. It is a button up, it has these really gorgeous uh, brown, almost kind of like wooden style of button which I really like. I think that's really rustic and cool. And, and it has kind of like a little collar that sits like this. Um, obviously beautiful for showing off layered jewelry. Um, but I just feel like it's really dainty and nice. I feel like this would be a good workwear piece. For me especially because I work from home, it's a great piece to wear. That makes you feel really smart and put together, but really nice. And at the same time, it's still comfortable. Um, I don't wear a bra with this. I like that kind of look. Um, but the buttons are kind of placed so that you don't really have to worry about any type of nipple slip. Uh, it just feels really dainty and sophisticated and it makes me feel like a lady. While being sophisticated, it still feels really casual. Uh, it's beautiful. So I think, yeah, 100% cotton. And it's just beautiful. I feel like if I look after this, it will be in my wardrobe forever. It's not really a trend-led piece. I feel like it's a real staple, mind you. I am very much looking for pieces to buy whenever I shop. Every single piece I kind of look for its potential to be a forever piece in my wardrobe. It's nice and breezy, but it's still kind of warm. And yeah, for days like today where the temperature is kind of going up and down like this, it's just perfect. And the best part is that this top just goes perfectly with these St. Agni pants that I actually picked up, I want to say, yeah, spring. Maybe October, I think I bought these. Um, the shipping is really quick from Byron Bay, by the way. They ship within like four days, which is really good, especially in these COVID times. Um, but they are just the best wide-legged pants. Sorry, I should have really steamed these before I put them in a video. They are somewhere between a camel color and a khaki sort of army color, but they are wide leg. They are a linen cotton blend and they're very much like they're a tailored trouser vibe, so they have those um, belt loops. I love that I can wear a belt with these pants if I wish to. The button is beautiful. It's like a tortoise shell button gorgeous and these wooden buttons coming down and meeting that one just looks so good and yeah they are definitely a wide leg i think they're meant to be cropped on most people <laughs> but on me they just come up to a really nice like ankle length um these little sandals are from seed heritage they are actually leather though which i love they don't really do me very many favors in terms of my long second toe because they sort of they show it off, if anything. But I am at a point where I just don't care. I love them. I love how kind of minimal they are. They're really narrow, and I love how I kind of have like a baggy pant and a narrow um, sandal on the bottom. I just think that looks really chic. They have white stitching, which is gorgeous. And yeah, I love them. And I think they go really 
And yeah, I think they go really, really nicely with this outfit. This is by far one of my favorite outfits. I feel like I should be writing my third novel or something when I'm <laughs> wearing this outfit. Right, time to bring in a little bit of color. Um, my favorite color to intertwine into my minimal earthy toned outfits is a bit of green. And you'll definitely be able to tell that my, well, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite New Zealand brands is Koto. This is the third piece I've shared in this video. Um, but this is another jumper that I was gifted by them back in the springtime. I think they still do the silhouette uh, in different colors. I am all kinds of obsessed with it. So it's this beautiful green color. It has a bit of a boat neck which is a very, very beautiful detail. It's ribbed, which is just gorgeous. Oh, I just, seeing this in the camera, I'm just like, I love this jumper. It's perfect for this time of year because it is wide, so it's nice and breezy, and the same thing with the arms. So they're a nice, like, wide, flowy arm. Um, and the direction of the ribbing changes, which I think is so cool. Looks like this. It is perfect for this time of year when it's a little bit more chilly but it's not so cold that you need to be wearing like tight knitwear i just think this is the best jumper ever for this time of year uh the quality is beautiful it is a 100 percent cotton everything at koto I, i'm pretty sure everything yeah everything is 100 percent organic and fair trade cotton so even though their pieces are on the premium side, it's worth it because you're paying for the good stuff. I've paired it with some white denim shorts, which I will show you in the mirror. So this is how it looks. Isn't it just amazing? I am just obsessed with this jumper. Um, I also love that it's like the perfect length for me to still show off my watch, my Tissot watch. Um, yeah, so I have paired it with some white denim mom shorts. Now I call these my lady dye shorts because they are very, very high waisted and very long in the leg. But even though I'm quite short, I find this to be really flattering. I actually think it makes my legs look a little bit more, I don't know, elongated, which I love. Um, but these are just from Dish. I got these back in December. They are 100% like stiff cotton white denim uh they are so comfortable they're the perfect high waist and the perfect length on the leg i definitely prefer my shorts to be a little bit longer i just like this very 90s oversized look and yeah i love this look where it's just baggy over the top and the shorts are just peeking out and then i've got my chunky the bali taylor sandals on this is basically a perfect transitional outfit for me and this is exactly what I mean by um, enjoying my favorite pieces from my summer wardrobe, which these shorts definitely fit into, but then also um, bringing out a piece that I was probably wearing more back in spring and then marrying the two together. So yeah, a month ago, I wouldn't be able to wear this. It would just be too hot and I was wearing this these shorts with just singlets. But uh, I'm really enjoying the, tr the transitional vibe of wearing shorts and jumpers. We are in that very small window where wearing jumpers and shorts is perfectly acceptable and suitable for the current temperatures. Right, I love, love this next outfit. I think going into autumn... Especially at the start of autumn, you can really get away with like head to toe linen. And I love like a long sleeve shirt, linen pant look. And even though I associate linen as a fabric more so in the summer, I, it just, it's too hot to wear like a linen shirt, linen pants in the summer. So now is the perfect time to do it. So this oversized linen shirt, I actually got from H&M, which is insane. Uh, it's the first thing I've bought from like a fast fashion retailer in I would say about two years. My exception was that it is 100% linen. Um, and I was in the market for a new linen shirt and this one was just so perfectly floaty and oversized. I really don't like a stiff linen and I find some 
brands when they bring out their linen shirts for the summer they're just too stiff this is nice and flowy the country road ones are nice and flowy but i think it was the one from assembly label i just found it to be way too stiff it just wasn't really my style so this is just like the perfect oversized flowy linen shirt it's from h&m i couldn't believe it either um but i love it the buttons are great um the collar sits really nicely up here which is key i don't like it when it's too stiff i like it when it's kind of like floaty and it just sort of like stays where you want it to sit i wear it with the cuffs just sort of undone i think that looks really really cool um and then down the bottom these are definitely more of a luxury item so these are from standard issue i have been working with standard issue over the last few months and i will be for the remainder of the year they are an incredible new zealand brand where like everything is 100 percent traceable everything is made in their factory here in mount wellington in auckland all of their fabrics are sustainably sourced everything is just like if you're one of those people that is like i need everything to be 100% sustainable, 100% ethical, and you don't mind investing in those pieces, you should definitely check out Standard Issue because they are just amazing and obviously really great to and obviously really great to be supporting local brands at the moment. But these are their linen pants. Now, they are an investment, but they are just the most flattering linen pants. I always get so many compliments when I wear them. They're almost kind of like tighter than your usual linen pant they sit really nicely around the bum uh they do have they do have pockets on either side but it's just like an elasticated waistband which i think is just great so comfortable and they are a nice wide leg fit these are navy and they've got like a very subtle pinstripe going down them but I'm obsessed. I could even I could even see myself wearing these um, later in the season with knitwear over the top and some sneakers. But at the moment, like around the house or like even in the weekends, this is a great like weekend off-duty casual outfit. Um, especially when you layer it with all of your jewellery. Um, it just kind of elevates it a little bit. Linen on linen. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm completely obsessed with white and navy at the moment um paired this outfit with the same little seed heritage leather slide really good outfit kind of like a nana on a holiday but i'm really into that aesthetic at the moment <laughs> this is exactly what one of my nanas would have worn in the summertime <laughs> but i love it i think it looks cool another look that i love at the moment is the jumper over the shoulders and crossed over like this I just think it looks cool. It's also great for if it happened to get a little bit chillier later and you felt the need to wear a jumper. But this is my navy one from Koto. This is also from Koto. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the flowiness. It's almost like a very unflattering outfit because it's so oversized, but I like it. It's very like Mary Kate and Ashley, pint sized person wearing oversized huge clothes and I'm into it. That concludes my top transitional outfits for summer going into autumn um i hope i gave you guys some inspiration and i really encourage you to continue shopping your own wardrobe there's always going to be something that you've forgotten about that you haven't seen in a while that you love that you can pull back out and it's a really fun time to be looking at your winter clothing and looking at your summer clothing and seeing what you can kind of smush together to create a new outfit that you wouldn't have worn in either of those seasons shirts with shorts or pants with skimpier tops that kind of thing um yeah it's a very tricky but a very fun time to be playing around with your style thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed this type of video please subscribe if you're new i'm nearly at 5,000 subscribers which is crazy for me um <laughs> with like social media followings i'm such a big believer that it's quality over quantity so if you guys are really enjoying my content and you're engaged and you want to watch them every week then it doesn't matter if you know only a handful of you guys are watching it every week but pretty cool to get to 5k subscribers so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week bye